investors just can't get enough of tech stocks. JJ Kinahan, Chief Market Strategist at TD Ameritrade. Your clients bought the usual tech suspects during the month of July. We're talking about Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, NVIDIA. Clearly, they're not worried about valuations. Well, I would say this. Uh, you know, Apple and Facebook weren't there, which has mm. been two of the stalwarts over to, overall. And it's very interesting to me because I hear people say, well, what about value investing, et cetera? I think one of the things that this shows is that people can invest in the FANG-type stocks, if you will, and perhaps do some value investing, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But overall, what really keeps me encouraged is it's not just one sudden time where people came in and started buying things. Our mm. IMX, which measures uh, investor exposure to the market, as you know, our clients have been buyers six months in a row. Mm. And they've participated in the rally all the way up, and as markets have at new all-time highs, so is our index. All right, and then on the sell side, we had Nike, Alcoa, Arconic, GM, and Twitter. These stocks just not getting that much attention. No, they're not. Nike was really interesting to me. They, they had a little run-up there before earnings, so people started selling it out of, uh, you know, nervousness perhaps. As it turned out, they signed this deal with Amazon, et cetera, for distribution. Um, GM, again, had a little bit of a bump, and one of the ones that wasn't mentioned on there, Caterpillar, mm -hmm. had a little bit of a jump. So it's interesting to me that when stocks jump, people are a little bit quicker, perhaps, mm -hmm. to get out of them. All right, let's talk about the broader markets. We know August is a tricky month for stocks. We had the flash crash in 2015. 2013, August was a bad month. In 2011, we had the U.S. credit rating downgrade. Right. So, I mean, you know where I'm going here. What, what kind of tail risk could we, could we might see in the remaining couple of weeks here? Well, I, I think it's interesting that, uh, you know, if you look at the traditional risk uh, measure, and that would be, I guess, VIX, bonds, sure. and gold, none of them are really flashing a, a signal of... Hmm nervousness, if you will. We have some things that can come up that could be minor de derailment. What really makes me the most nervous, though, is will the good numbers continue? We come off Friday when we had the employment number mm -hmm. above 200,000 for the second month in a row, and it's a surprise. We had wages increase. We have PPI and CPI at the end of this week. Mm -hmm. Will we get the inflation numbers that the Fed wants also? I think the Fed really wants to have a rate raise. The economy could use that vote of confidence mm -hmm. of a rate raise. That makes me nervous. I think that the political situation, although it's amazing swirl and keeps a lot of the networks in 24 hours of uh, <laughs> programming, sure. uh, I think that Washington is going to get a pass for the rest of 2017 mm -hmm. on taxes. And so we go marginally higher from here. I, th I think we have enough runway. Now, to be honest, a little sell-off probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but there's just nothing there that shows that there's going to be any kind of major sell-off. All right. Well, watch how it plays out. J.J. Kinahan, thanks so much, as always. Always a pleasure, Scott. Thanks for having me.